Inspiration. It doesn't always come to us at the moment we sit behind our desk and wait for the magic to happen. Of course, showing up to the drawing board is an important step to creating a consistent art practice, but to do so, I also need to make sure that my little cup that I draw inspiration from is filled. There are many beautiful ways to fill your cup with inspiration. Mostly, they involve living life, which can seem daunting, especially when you're an anxious introvert like me but we do need to venture out and live life to be inspired. These are some of my personal ways to do just that. Whenever I feel lost, a walk in nature always helps to clear my mind. The forest teaches me to take things slow and to live in the present moment. It is here we can feel our footsteps on the ground. We can find little treasures and moments of awe in nature. Tiny keepsakes and little traces left by other creatures that feel no rush or stress to get things done and move towards new deadlines. Instead, we can take a breath and let things unfold in a natural pace, like winter turning into spring when nature is ready. We all have those moments in our day that are a little magical. Even though it may be simple, taking a pause from drawing and drinking a cup of coffee is one of those moments I look forward to each day, so I try to enjoy it as much as I can. I used to rent an art studio in the city, and when we bought our home with my art studio inside of it, I really missed having a coffee in the city. While I still try to do that every once or two weeks, I now try to create my own cozy cafe in my home. It's nice to take a little distance from my art studio and be in another room for a little bit. I already look forward to taking my coffee outside in the garden during springtime. When making art for a living, it can be hard to draw or paint just for the sake of drawing and painting. When posting and selling a lot of your work, it becomes very tied to making a living. I remember the days when drawing was just for fun and I felt so inspired. These days I try to pursue new hobbies that make me feel that way again. Learning something new and being creative without a certain goal can be very freeing. And it just so happens that when you actually do start new hobbies, certain skills can start to transfer when creating art like a cross-pollination of inspiration and creativity, new pathways all of a sudden open and a new idea is born. One of the most important ways to fill my cup of inspiration is taking care of my physical and mental health which is a big task on its own, if you ask me. When I started my illustration business, I worked a lot. I didn't take a lot of breaks at all. And in busy periods, when self-care has been put on the back burner for a little too long, it can quickly translate into feeling a lot more anxiety for me personally. I try to meditate often. Daily walks in nature always make me feel a little bit better. Of course, YouTube videos are often romanticized, Self-care isn't always in the luxurious acts of taking a bath or putting on a face mask. When feeling very anxious and overwhelmed, making a nice cup of tea or coffee and talking to a loved one 
or writing down a few sentences in a journal can be the best self-care activity you're capable of. I have been using little cards with comforting quotes and cozy illustrations that remind me it is okay to experience all of my thoughts and emotions. Last year I designed a little bag with a full set of these cozy comfort cards for sad and anxious moments, so I was able to share it with other people that felt sad and anxious. Even though I treasure alone time, I cannot feel inspired without making meaningful connections. I love spending time with my little family, my husband, our son and I. We go on little adventures together and I spend a lot of time playing with my son. He is such a big inspiration for me. I also like to meet with friends and have a cozy time together. We mostly talk about our lives. It is much needed to share experiences and talk through the good and the bad moments together. Of course, the ways in which we fill our cup of inspiration can differ from artist to artist and it can even look different in the various stages of our lives. Our cup of inspiration will not always be full. Life happens and we forget how to rekindle the little fire inside of us. It's only natural that we cannot be at the same level of inspiration and creation every day as inspiration is so connected to life. However, inspiration can strike at the moment we least expect it. Even when we're in the depths of our despair, we can create the most meaningful art that is in turn meaningful to people going through the same experiences as us. And whenever that spark does light up, it's so magical. All of this makes me wonder, what will fill your cup of inspiration today? <laughs>